Millsing was over time taken up by every wool grower in Australia and was at the time a great way of eliminating fly strike around the breach of the merino sheep. But times have changed and the way consumers see Millsing has changed over time and we as wool growers need to change with those times. We were engaged to conduct some research into the transition of wool growers from wrinkly breed type sheep to plain bodied sheep and the results speak for themselves. More than 77% of producers surveyed have transitioned within that five year period to non-mules merinos. More than 80% of producers are getting better growth rates and more lambs on the ground. People are getting a lot less breech strike and body strike. 84% of respondents are finding a better return on their investment. The type of sheep that it was, there was really no alternative, but we've been so fortunate that we've got sheep now that we can breed that haven't got that skin on them in the hindquarters and they don't need to be mules. If you could find a way, why wouldn't you not mules? I just don't understand. It's not very nice, no. What I'd say to a farmer who wants to transition today with the genetics that are available, I think you could transition very easily in three to five years with the right genetics and the right advice. We don't need to try to jazz it up. They're very good results and that's what we found. Well, I've read the reports and the findings. Uh, just through genetics and good management, you can quickly change a sheep within two generations that doesn't need mulesing and has these other co-benefits and it's just time we moved on. The market for wool has completely changed to what it was 50, 100 years ago. The future will involve looking at the market first and the market overall is looking for a product that's ethically produced, that's sustainable and sees people doing and attempting to do the right thing by both their animals, their land and their people. I think a really key thing in life is to not think you know everything, that there's always something that you don't know. And I know a change is very scary for most people, but if you can just have that little door open and think, oh, what's going on over there? You don't have to take it on board, but you know, it might just open another door. And it's funny, after a little while, people go, oh, that's okay. You know, whatever it may be. <laughs>